Um, so Leo, what's going on? Somebody is hurt. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Ten of Swords. That that was an ending, and somebody is in pain over this. Might be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but this is so much love and so much hurt, right? Ten of Swords and the Devil, Capricorn energy. Something went wrong. Something went toxic. Um, somebody might have had addictions that kind of energy and it went downhill from there nine of cups and yet wish fulfillment um this is what we are manifesting i'm pretty sure after ten of swords is like no i am not going to compromise on my happiness here eight of swords releasing hurt and toxicity in a connection codependency jealousy fear okay so let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. At this time, the most important one between you and your person. We have nine of swords and we have the sun and we have the lovers and the ten of pentacles. Um, and the chariot and the death. So somebody is afraid of an ending of somebody walking away and ending something. And that is so much love, Leo. And there is so much stability with the Ten of Pentacles. There is abundance of finances, love, um, truth. Because the sun is also the truth. So, um, I mean, why fear, right? There is no need for fear. But there is a lot of stress here. Nine of Swords is all kinds of scenarios in your head. Um, maybe worrying that somebody is not truthful. Somebody is not telling the full truth about love, about family, about kids, about legacy, about planning to walk away. God knows, right? But it's um, kind of the universe saying, come on, you're stressing for nothing. That is love and that is truth. So let's see, um, Leo. Let's see here. Past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual let's have the current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome for September on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and of course you know by now only what resonates and look at this are you kidding me and you show up again oh my god and we have the lovers again and the knight of cups you must be kidding me Leah we have the ten of swords but look here right we do have the lovers with um, the sun which is you now we have the two of cups with the strength which is you you must be kidding me this is the most loving connection that you ever had is the most beautiful one the most passionate one we have the lovers again with the ace of wands knight of cups might be a pisces cancer scorpio and ace of pentacles potential for investment pure emotions knight of cups is my I love you i want you i want to make love to you card and energy and you have the lovers twice and you have your uh, sun and strength so please right nothing can go wrong with this overall energy i mean tons of love in this connection so you have no reason to worry here um so leo past energies we have the king of wands with the queen of pentacles oh my god so a king and a queen quite um solid connection quite mature um a connection that uh, worth investing in or at least this is uh, the energy in the past taurus virgo the capricorn energy here but we had you passionate about somebody right somebody your level somebody vibing at the same uh, with us at the same pace and um, tons of love um, physical touch we have lovers and we know lovers is also about the physical bond and the a connection that was um, fully um, experienced in so many ways and uh, probably you had a family um, that is ten of pentacles in and i'm pretty sure you still have because by the looks of it i'm picking up the connection of somebody that that has a lot of love tons of love now, uh, this person of yours, um, Leo, in the past they had the Tower and the Three of Swords. A lot of pain, an explosion of some sort, can be a medical situation. 
um, can be something went fully fully wrong in their life with the tower and the three of swords and um, probably you lost them you know when you thought you had something solid their life exploded tons of pain I, it feels like sickness but we'll see how this is it feels I mean with so much love um, it's kind of like having um, kind of a health scare of some sort right and um, and um, something about about this went um, wrong right and then there was rejection. There is, there was so much love, um, physical and emotional, and a bond. And then there was rejection. Um, so we have the energy of five of pentacles, asking the other person to leave. But also we have it paired with the four of pentacles, which is the energy of holding on. Um, so I kind of imagine Leo that you, um, right? It was a, it came as a surprise to you, and um, it was. Um, something that uh, caught you by surprise and yet you kept uh, holding on to this person but they uh, were kind of a wreck right i mean that the tower with the three of swords maybe something in their personal life and they were not um at some point it became impossible for them to you know um to disconnect and move on to be uh, your lover because they had an explosion in their own life um, Leo, where, I where are we right now? We do have the Empress and the Two of Wands. This is crossroads and choosing abundance. This is finding abundance in crossroads. Also, um, this is the energy of uh, finding direction through um, choosing the Empress energy, right? Um, this can be somebody, right? Um, and it's kind of the same energy as the Queen of Pentacles in terms of nur in terms of nurturing, in terms of groundiness, of in terms of pot potential and creativity and passion. But I love this energy. We choose passion. We choose Empress energy. What, however, this applies to you, right? This is the energy of saying, "I am only going to choose what's best for me. I'm only going to choose Empress energy, the highest energies of all, right?" Now this person of yours, Leo, they are in the High Priestess energy and the Two of Pentacles. They are still juggling, silent, but juggling in silence, right? Struggling, this is the energy of trying to find balance. Working a lot uh, with the Two of Pentacles to gain some form of stability because, um, you know, in the past it was a mess. They are rebuilding slowly, but also there is a sense of spirituality with the High Priestess. There is a sense of silence and secrets, I'm not going to lie. Um, so they might be kind of hiding that they are struggling at this time, but nonetheless there is a sense of manifestation. On their side, there is a sense of spirituality and trying to keep everything up and running. <clears throat> Very practical. Um, and, um, you know, somehow looking into knowledge and information in order for them to build something and find balance again. Um, mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the seven of cups, right? This is my what happened, you know, that's the energy. I'm confused, I don't, I don't know. And we have the energy of the four of swords. Why the silence, right? Um, because I'm sensing High Priestess Four of Swords, it um, is a lot of silence between you and this person. And I'm pretty sure, Leo, you have so much love and if you are to choose today, you would choose this person, right? You nurtured them in the past, you took care of them, and you choose them today. You would choose them at any moment, right? Um, but we have this energy, Four of Swords, planning, strategizing, strategizing, thinking, <clears throat> and trying to make some sense out of this confusion between the two of you, right? Um, the truth was not spoken. You know, somebody is hiding the truth here. Somebody is keeping quiet about something. A form of disruption, a form of betrayal, a form of pain, a form of heartache. Um, while this other person here, Leo, on your side, you have so much love for them. Okay? And I don't think they don't love you. They are going through something uh, major, 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 major. And look at the overall energy. So much love coming your way and tons of love between the two of you. Now moving forward, speaking of love, we do have the Page of Cups with the King of Wands. Coming your way, that is even more love. Um, 
Leo, even more love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. But it's not. It's a, it's a cup of love. Um, a cup of love with a lot of potential. This is something that feels new. Um, maybe sometimes uh, childlike because it's a page, um, you know, with potential to grow. But in the same time, it has um, kind of the freshness of, of a new beginning. Um, and so much love coming your way. This person of yours, a little bit stressed to speak up. Um, we have them in the Nine of Swords again, and they bring the overall energy here. There is so much uh, fear that either you don't love them, either they are afraid of something that happened in their life, God knows, but Eight of Wands, right? This is one thing to move on, to bring the connection between the two of you um, to the next level. Eight of Wands is Cupid's arrows um, and passionate um, energies towards you. And look at this. Are you kidding me? Between the two of you, we have the Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Love and nurturing without end. You know? Such a beautiful energy. Oh my God, Leo. Tons of love between you and this person. Tons of love. Uh, that is something about them. I don't want to say they are not telling the truth. But they are withholding communication because of fear of some sort. High Priestess with the Two of Pentacles juggling in silence and, and keeping silent and yet struggling to keep silent, right? They want to talk. Four of Swords planning, strategizing because confused. So they are going through something major, um, Leo. So much love, so much love. Now let's see uh, the guidance we receive. I don't feel like romance angels, so I'm going to take true love and um, and whispers of love. And we do have maturity. So Leo, um, kind of the universe acknowledging that for this one it takes maturity, right? They are going through something major, completely stressed out, completely destroyed with the tower and the three of swords, silent juggling. And on your side, you have so much love. So it takes maturity to understand this situation between the two of you and their situation. And speaking of maturity, spiritual maturity, we have it twice. Somebody here, Leo, is behaving like a kid. Um, somebody here is like spoiled and, um, you know, um, and the universe is kind of guiding um, you or the person you are dealing with. You know, to come from a place of forgiveness, understanding, ascension, values, morals, and maturity. You know, might be a complex situation where uh, it's not that simple, right? We do have the Divine Masculine, spiritual maturity and maturity. So maybe the Divine Masculine in this connection needs to work on their um, understanding of what's going on. And, um, and maturity and spiritual maturity, by the way. So, we do have self-respect. Um, again, Leo, might be, might be you, might be the person you are dealing with. Um, and, um, yeah, in this connection, some self-respect needs to be brought back. Um, focused on, resolved of some sort, commitment. So, you are guided to commit to this person. You are kind of guided to be serious about, right? while considering your own self-respect and we do have emotional freedom so somebody here needs actually and probably is more connected to the maturity and spiritual maturity so we are guided um leo to break free from a past emotional connection we had with somebody and be mature about the commitment that's going on right now while making sure that it's self-respect in the process that's the main guidance I'm receiving for you today. But of course, how do you receive this guidance? And now let's see the energies we put back into the flow and we have the abundance again. We have the Empress at this time and now we have abundance again. That is somebody who has so much love or either they have resources or, um, you know, but um, that is a sense of, I mean, King of Wands twice and the Empress, there is a sense of... Um, maturity and abundance and and just things coming to you you know so abundance leo this is the energy we need to put back into the flow 
and it says I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So we bring that mentality back. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. We do have surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. So let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. This is kind of, um, you know, when somebody tells you almost all the time, you have to work harder because you are, you know, your brains are, you know, of, um, normal. There is nothing extraordinary about you. Or you have, you know, you are not smart, so you have to work harder. Or God knows, you know. This is kind of the universe saying, please surrender outdated beliefs because actually we need new beliefs, right? And more confidence and self-respect. So how about we surrender the blame? We might be putting blames on a blame on other people and the universe is saying, I accept responsibility for my well-being. So Leo, you accept responsibility for your well-being. Nobody is responsible. You have to make sure right so we do have surrender i can release my need to control i need to release i can release my need to control and bottom of the deck we do have integrity you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action and i love this one even more because it says surrender to the magic of who you are um and i i i had to watch and i um, had to take it because it has something to do with self-respect, right? Confidence, self-esteem. Um, so Leo, surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us. Well, that's true. Even in the man, even in the mundane aspects of life, remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. So Leo, be yourself, right? With integrity, I so love this. And abundance a couple of times and commitment and spiritual maturity a couple of times. So much love. So let's make sure we are not making mistakes here. Um, this is what I'm picking up. Kind of the universe saying, I know that is there are what is, but there is so much love. So make sure we are not, you know, messing up. We approach this with spiritual maturity, commitment, self-respect, abundance, integrity, no blame and uh, new ideas about ourselves, right? A new mind frame, new beliefs. Um, so, hey, such a beautiful reading. You, Leo, you know I love you, right? You know I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.